Thank you, Your Holiness. Now, Artigan, as to your concerns... The Inquisition established an armed presence in Ferelden territory. You outright seized Caer Bronach in Crestwood. Yes, from bandits. Would you like us to give it back to them? Your help was appreciated two years ago, Inquisitor. Now order has been restored, yet you remain. Invading under pretext of restoring order is exactly what the Grey Wardens did to us centuries ago, and we exiled them. That was Ferelden's mistake, just as exiling the Wardens at Adamant Fortress was regrettably the Inquisition's mistake. Of course Orle tolerates the Inquisition's interference. I suspect whenever Gaspard complains, Lady Briala tugs on his leash. Rest assured, Tegan, the Empire of Orle will not stand idle if the Inquisition oversteps its bounds. Unlike Ferelden, however, Orle understands that these were the well-intentioned mistakes of a young organization. An organization in need of a guiding hand. Yours, no doubt. Pardon me, Inquisitor. Divine Victoria wishes to speak with you in private. Even if this is a lie, she needs a break. Something has come up. I'll be back. What? This is highly irregular. Perhaps it would be best if we took a short recess. The guard said we should both see this. I believe she was correct. A canary warrior in full armor. How did he get into the Winter Palace? Would the Iron Bull know anything about this? I asked, and he is as surprised as we are. Since becoming Talvashoth, he has had no contact with his people. He seems frustrated at not knowing more. So what would the left hand of the Divine see when she looked at this? This is a warrior, not a spy. Part of the Antam, the Canari military. Most of his wounds come from a fight against someone using magic, but at least a few are from a blade. He was badly hurt, separated from his allies, and made it here before he died. But how? Deadly mysteries at the Winter Palace. Throw in a Hala statue and some Caprice coins, and it's just like old times. Can Josephine manage the diplomats while I look around? She will be fine. It's all speeches and posturing for the first few days anyway. I will extend the recess as long as possible. I will also have our friends ready themselves for battle if need be. You think that's likely? I think the Exalted Council may be more exciting than we expected. One last hurrah. Mysteries to solve, blood trails to follow. She's in her element. Some sort of Orlesian trick. I'll have your hide. It looks like he came down over the railing. Love the score for this one, too. Devoluvian? If I'm going through it, I'm not going alone. Psh, like the dream team would ever let her go alone. This is the crossroads. Morrigan brought me here while showing me the Alluvians. I'd forgotten all the colors. What are you talking about? Everything's all gray. I wonder if it somehow looks different to elves. Judging by the bloodstains, he tried to get through here. This mirror doesn't look broken, but it's inactive. Maybe there's a way to unlock it. Actually, let's quickly run over here first. Just a little treasure map situation, which, you know, Ash could never pass up. 
Speaking of, we are going to veer off the path of the blood trail one more time just to check out what's behind this mystery alluvian back here, but after that we probably won't stop and find all of these secret areas as we go just because while Ash is a curious sort and would want to explore, she's also on a mission and the clock is ticking. She needs to figure out what's going on with the Canari. Not quite where we wanted to go, but still not bad. So yeah, she knows she's on borrowed time here. Also, behind many of these extra alluvians are gear and accessories that Ash doesn't really need at this point, including a set called the Taken Shape that has stacking buffs for every piece that she wears. But again, Ashleen's satisfied with the accessories she already has on. That said, if anybody has a question about how to access any of these areas, you know I'm happy to help, so just let me know. But as always, I'm gonna focus on the story here. And so I'll stop with the fourth wall breaking commentary now. This codex about this book. At times there is a scandalous amount of attention paid to young men's backsides, but I doubt that will put you off in the slightest. Most of these codexes seem to be about the nobles who lived in this now abandoned estate. Though this one does mention a mirror. Probably an alluvian. has lost control of the mark. seem to imply that the creator, the enchanter, um, was experimenting with a living specimen to create these pieces, which is pretty awful. But now, back on track. The blood trail leads to this mirror. Elven ruins? I'm not sure we're even in Orlais anymore. Another Kunari, dressed like the one in the Winter Palace. He's part of their military, dressed for war. Scorch marks everywhere. This is the work of a mage. A powerful one. I can still feel the heat crackling. We need to find out why these Kunari were here, and who did this to them. Gotta figure out how to get over there. The elves bound a spirit here. It feels old. Very old. What does it want? Nuvenas menahelamin. Tiers belasama. I 
think I know what to say. Armelana de Favrin. Ravas Viranaris. Arme la Favas. Seemed to work. What did you say? He was part of a ritual. A secret greeting from those Van Harel trusted. If Mithal's Will of Sorrows knew this, were they close? Friends, or... I'm not sure. How would we describe the relationship between Mithal and Van Harel? More than merely friends, but probably not romantic. Extremely close. Wolf's Welcome, a wash of powerful magic carries an impression of welcome. Images flash by elven slaves fleeing to this place in ancient times, greeted by others who then tend their wounds. Words are not so much heard as felt. Fenharel bids you welcome. Rest knowing the Dread Wolf guards you and his people guard this valley. In this place, you are free. In trusting us, you will never be bound again. That was like Balefire. It claimed this was a refuge for elven slaves. You mean the ancient elves kept slaves? Maker's breath. One more thing never to tell Daisy. This whole valley was a sanctuary created by the dread wolf, Fen Harel. This doesn't make sense. In Dalish legends, Fen Harel is our god of misfortune. Ashley Nardi knew about the ancient elves enslaving their own people. Solas told her when he removed her Valazine. So why didn't she tell Varric? That alluvian only took us a short distance. That's the same lake we saw from the other tower. She definitely told Dorian, that's for certain, but I don't know, maybe it comes from some kind of internalized guilt, and which is misplaced, but still, maybe she was ashamed. Okay, uh, this is a hard tone shift, but I just have to come down here and highlight this ridiculous thing that I don't know why someone put it here except to make us laugh, so, yep, just a book and a sock. <laughs> I'll let you draw your own conclusions about that. Okay, the promise of Fenharel, a wash of powerful magic carries a pang of hope. Images flash by, a man in wolf skin standing with a group of freed slaves, clasping one's arm in friendship. Words are not so much heard as felt. Fen Harel has been falsely named a god, but is as mortal as any of you. He takes no divine mantle and asks that none be bestowed upon him. He leads only those who would help willingly. Let none be beholden but by choice. This is Fen Harel helping former slaves as a mortal, not a god. Ordinary guy saves people, accidentally founds religion. Sounds a lot like the chant, actually. Fen Harel sounds like quite the rebel. The old elven gods must have simply loved that. He does sound like quite the rebel, doesn't he? Ashleen, as she's going through all of these, is definitely gaining a newfound respect for the trickster. The Lies of the Evanuris, a watch of powerful magic carries a sensation of bitter fury. Images flash by, elven mages enslaving tens of thousands, making arrogant proclamations of godhood. Words are not so much heard as felt. The gods are Evanuris, claim divinity, yet they are not but mortals powerful in magic who can die as you can. In this place, we teach those who join us to unravel their lies. This claims the elven gods were just Evanuris, powerful but completely mortal mages. If that's true, Fen Harel was teaching these freed slaves the truth about these false gods. Now a new ability, Anchor Discharge, makes your party briefly invulnerable and lights dark areas. Ah! You're hurt! Yes, but she doesn't want them to worry. The Anchor flared up. It's fine now. This looks like it fits into that pedestal by the broken bridge. Yeah, she already did that. Jump the gun there, I guess. This place is creepy. <laughs> Which part? You know, maybe that's why she didn't tell Varric about all of this. She just didn't want to worry him. 
Here we go again. What a change of pace from the Winter Palace. A clear sky, a beautiful view, and yes, fields and fields of stripweed as far as the eye can see. So, we're getting the band back together. That's exciting. Don't tell me the Viscount of Kirkwall misses skulking around and shooting people. You've never been to the Viscount's keep, have you, Sparkler? Spend two hours there and you'll be glad. Those birds, always interrupting. You know, I bet there's a mod to fix that. can use our new invulnerability to get through this. <laughs> Unsigned note, written half in Kunlat, half in common tongue. Ten more in today, no one saw me. If more instructions, please do second drop point. More people on the ground soon, as it has better cover. A letter by the Kunari. Why are they translating it into our language? Did the Kunari live here? These Kunari were running when they died. Let's find where this battle began. It's headed again. Kunari! The Inquisition doesn't leave alive. Full guard. One explosion takes you down. Get it together, Cole. I love these two handed elven warrior spirits with the huge clubs. Also, I will add, I like that Ben Harrell chose the two-handed warrior to guard his sanctum. He likes badass warriors. What can I say?
you're gonna make her climb all the way up there to kill you. All right. Why did those Kunari attack the Inquisition on sight? If the Kuhn want us dead, we're facing the wrath of an entire nation. Well, at last the Inquisition and Tevinter have something in common. The Dread Wolf keeps its gaze on the one light that illuminates the way forward. That's Fen Harel. Removing Dalish Valisleen. Sola said they were used to mark slaves. Alright, so... Come on, she's put together who Fen Harel is by now, right? Like, she's not dumb, and uh, the, the clues are all there. To solve the puzzle, the Dread Wolf statue's looking at this light, by the way. She will, however, need to pick up, I think it's either three or four special notes to officially put all of the clues together and open up a unique dialogue option at the end that fits her. So we're going to grab one of those now. Get the faster. This was a good place for spirits. Quieter than Kirkwall, huh? Well, thanks again for coming to visit. A lot of people needed help. Yes, you're doing good work. Healing hurts. So sweet. So a charred note. Something struck the tower. A great sizzling bolt out of a blue sky. Afterwards, spirits emerged from a statue of a wolf as if the lightning woke them, and they appeared to be looking for someone. The only word I understood was Fen Harel. They did not see me, but beware, for they attack any guards who... Something. Oh, hey guys. So, someone with powerful magic ran in here and woke these spirits. Hmm, who is a mage who loves spirits? I wonder. <laughs> The lifting of the Valisleen, sensation of determination. Images flash by, former slaves in ranks with Fen Harel, armed and strong. Their skin is clear, their face tattoos, the elven Valisleen are gone. Words are not so much heard as felt. The brand of the Evanuris can be lifted from you, that all may know you oppose their cruelties. None here are slaves. All are under our protection. All may choose to fight. Hidden weapons. These freed slaves actually fought back against the Evanuris posing as gods. Interesting word, Evanuris. If all it means is mage leader, well, they were basically magisters. Certainly not something we're proud to have in common, but yes.
An unknown agent. This one just mimics that from outside. Two hours ago, an unknown intruder penetrated our defenses, masked and cloaked a mage, used magic to awaken spirits. Intruder moved as if they knew the place. Dozens dead. Spirits keep attacking. The rest of the letter is illegible. The blood is still wet. A note about an unknown intruder coming through an alluvian. They turned spirits against us, then fled. It must be a mage. They killed any Kunari in the way and let the spirits do the rest. Two parties, then. The Kunari and a mystery agent determined to stop them. Really laid into the word mystery there, Ash. Let's look for anything that explains why the Kunari came here before we go. Plan of attack. Station your people in the abandoned elven tower by the lake. It is a short distance from its entrance to the mirror that connects to Lam Sharal. We will need the space to lodge our people after infiltration is complete. There's a map of the crossroads at the bottom with an arrow from the elven ruins alluvian to the alluvian that leads to the Winter Palace. This letter says the Kunari came to these ruins because the alluvians connect to Halam Sharal. It was some sort of infiltration. There's no more details. Come on. We have to warn people about the Kunari's designs on the Winter Palace. One dead Kunari was bad enough. Now we have more, and they're hostile. This makes no sense. The Kunari may not be friendly to the Inquisition, but they have no reason to attack us. They also have no reason to be here, or using Illuvians at all. I've had the mirror placed under guard for now, Your Holiness. Kalan, please just call me Liliana. Yes, Your uh, Liliana. It appears the relative peace and quiet of the last two years is coming to an end. First the Blight, then Mages and Templars, then Corypheus, and now this. Can't we go ten years without the world falling to pieces? Nope. We must ensure that the Kunari do not disrupt the negotiations. The Exalted Council is in a very delicate state. I'm certain you can soothe the nobles' ruffled feathers while we solve the real problem. Not when the Inquisitor insults everyone present by walking out in the middle of the talks. Our only advantage is that Orlais and Ferelden are divided in goal and grievance. If they unite against us, Divine Victoria will have no choice but to support their claims. We could lose everything. Josie's under a lot of stress, so Ash will ignore that she snapped at her. I know we're asking a lot of you, Ambassador. I promise we won't make this any harder for you than necessary. My apologies. I will attend to the Exalted Council. And while Josie does that, we will investigate. We? Your Holiness? <sighs> you do, Josie? I'll head back to the crossroads. We need to find out what the Kunari are doing and why they attacked. And I'll have a quiet word with our honor guard. Well, with just a moment to breathe, let's go check on the crew. my friend. What did you do in Tevinter while you were away? I went home. Twice. The father was only there once. Mother was drunk both times. I also went to Carinus to see my good friend Mayveris. Then I settled some of Alexis's affairs. That wasn't fun. What is this ambassadorship about, exactly? I believe my father set it up, but the Imperium certainly didn't object. They'd love for the Inquisition to fall apart, so they're happy if it seems they consider this council a waste of time. That makes no sense. No? If Dread to Vinter actually pushed for the Inquisition's end, everyone else would disagree on principle. So they send a nobody pariah and hope for the best. Makes perfect sense to me. 
Any thoughts about the Exalted Council? A few. Divine Victoria needs a new tailor for one. From the paintings of Liliana in that enormous robe, you'd think she was pregnant. Could cause a delicious scandal. As for this whole Exalted Council business, well... I warned you once that no one would thank you for saving the world. Sadly, I'm always right. <laughs> so long as the Inquisition's around to remind them they're not really in charge, they'll never sleep comfortably. Whether they have the guts to take action, I suppose we'll see. Another time. I look forward to it. Ash and Mayveris would so get along. Not only is she friends with Dorian, so amazing taste, but also she's kind of related to Varric, and also she's trans, which we are here for. Hope to see more of May eventually. Missing servants. Hmm. We shall see. Everything going all right so far? I'm surprised no one from the Council of Heralds wants your autograph. You just missed them. Duke Cyril keeps asking me for spoilers for my next book. I don't understand how you could just become a Viscount. When the ruler of a marcher state dies and there's no heir, the nobles of the city pick a new ruler. Only none of Kirkwall's nobles actually want the throne. Most of them think it's cursed, actually. They can't leave it empty, though, or some other state like Starkhaven or Ansberg will probably invade. I complained about the empty office when it interfered with my reconstruction efforts. They took that as volunteering. So Bran used to be Viscount, and now he just follows you around? Provisional Viscount. Pretty much. With a permanent appointee, finally, in the Viscount's office, I am free to return to my post as Seneschal. He means my true calling is arrogantly telling people they can't talk to the Viscount. He's good at it, too. Any word from Hawk? I got a message from, well, best not to name an entire chain of smuggling syndicates in polite company. Anyway, Weishaupt is apparently the special kind of mess that only appears when Hawk shows up. I'm not entirely sure how it'll all play out, but my money's on Hawk walking away from the Warden's Fortress as it explodes. <laughs> we'll talk more another time. I'll be here if you need me. Cassandra seeks the truth and finds a warring blade cut so sublime. Royal hearts near Varen. Actually, let's listen to this song. Vendor of exotic goods, writer of salacious books, rogue, a dwarf with ragged looks. Soulless, mysterious, self and mage Mastered magic by his own hand Not a Dalish or Dalish. city elf Skeptic born into lovely land Dorian rebuilt against countrymen A mage from the tavern or imperium Charming and suave and just slightly suspect. Suspect. These are the early days we defend. Watch it, Meriden. And then the later ones. Hello and shh. I'm trying to figure out why everyone is acting so weird. I mean, besides because canary assassins and everything. You see it, right? There's something going with the elf servants. Makes sense after that ruin, right? When you start going on about elves, it's hard to tell if it's about them or you. Yes, yes, you're ever so clever, ass. Point is, the servants have no complaints, no asking for a Jenny. They serve this lot, but don't want them done for anything. So, the nobles are nice and the servants are happy? Two things that have never been true. Mark that I said it. We're fighting Canari, but something else is on the up. It's been a couple years. How's everything sitting with you? It's weird meeting back up and seeing everyone get their grey. First time I've been anywhere long enough to get fond of things. Leliana's friendly when she wants to be. 
My people sometimes do things for her, like I do for you. All that blood and thunder just so everyone can live well an hour once around. Good lesson, I suppose, if there had to be one. I suppose you've a lot to say about that elven ruin, about the creators. They're not even demons, just big magey knobs punching down. And yes, the shits who use them to make me feel broken can still eat it. But always waiting for that fight is way too much work. It's like doing half the hurt for them. Maybe we're old now, but I'm tired of it. I'd rather worry about people I care about. Like you. Are you all right with it? The creators. Man, Sarah's really matured. She's finally acknowledging that internalized hatred she was carrying and projecting on other elves. So, yeah, she's right. While Ash isn't okay with the fact that the creators were slavers, of course, she's not going to hold on to that resentment. She's going to free and protect as many people as she can with however much time she has left. I'll make sense of it eventually. Good that someone's trying. Better that it's you, because you can do it. <laughs> Love the trust. We'll talk later. Oh, an Inquisitor? Feels weird, but I'm sorry Solus never came back. Well, no, I'm not, but I'm sorry he left you. For what it's worth, anyway. Not much, I suppose, but there you go. Oh. Ash is really glad that she didn't give up on their friendship. Sarah has grown a lot. Wish I hadn't burned all my contacts with the Ben Hasrath. Be nice to have some idea what they're doing right now. Yeah, but then you'd be on their side, Chief. Yes, but I'd know things. I like knowing things. The Chargers have been with the Inquisition for a while now. Is everyone still happy? No complaints, Your Worship. The Inquisition's been good to us. We'd disband and join the Inquisition officially, but the Chief gets this sad dog look when we suggest it. The loyalty is touching, Krem. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, boss. Now let's do some stream of consciousness style, just one after the other. Do your thing, Cole. If you leave and come back, the chest gives you another. That's how we know too much. He died in the darkness so a blue rose could bloom. It always had a soul. The question is the answer. It was the same boy. His mother on the ship, his father in their homeland. He grew up lonely. Or didn't. Her name is different now. Victoria. The old name slips away further each time. She's glad you're here. He broke the dreams to stop the old dreams from waking. The wolf chews its leg off to escape the trap. Your hand hurts, a heartbeat, not yours, hammering the beat of a song in its final verse. I'm sorry. Oh. Not now, Meriden. Being this, being me, it's harder, but better. I like me. Meriden laughs at things I say. She killed the girl to save herself. She thinks about the eyes going black. A weapon is an order, not a gift. The Guardian spirit stayed, not bound, but biding, because he asked. He knows how to speak, so spirits listen. Sometimes the cow takes your gold. Barefaced but free, frolicking, fighting fierce. He wants to give wisdom, not orders. Rainier, Rainier, Rainier. It still hurts, but you helped make it better. He can mend it now. The spirits have fled, flying, fluttering, fast to the farthest fade. They're afraid of the veil tearing again. His friend had to die because he thought they were people. A slow arrow breaks in the sad wolf's jaws. Hello. He did not want a body, but she asked him to come. He left a scar when he burned her off his face. That one is so good, and proof that Solus once had a Mithal Valisley. Hello. 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 Guess that means we're done. Thanks, Cole. All right, Meriden, you can keep playing now. I've been meaning to ask. Solus hasn't come back. Sent word? 
Anything? She really doesn't want to talk about that. I've heard nothing. He's gone. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Her too. Until later. Take care. It is good to see you, my friend. I hear you've been rebuilding the Seekers. Slowly, but yes. I managed to find a few of my former comrades who'd scattered to the winds. Some of them were unsuitable, and I did not ask them to return. Others felt as I did once they read the Lord Seeker's tome. We've since recruited a few candidates who are going through training now, with full disclosure. What comes after this, I cannot be certain. I'm making it up as I go along. <laughs> Sounds familiar. I thought you'd appreciate that. So what do you think of the Chantry? You ask me just to poke at me and see if I react, don't you? It is what it is. Most Holy's reforms are interesting, to say the least. I hope they last once Leliane is gone. Regardless of what I think, it could have been far worse. You and I both remember the dark times we faced. Sadly, others have far shorter memories. What do you think of the Exalted Council? They are frightened of your power, and there is no longer a hole in the sky to remind them that it was needed. Maybe what they need is a quick reminder of that power. Only if you want to stiffen their resolve. Even so, I would wait and see where this leads. Karma heads may yet prevail. <laughs> when has that ever been the case? I'm an optimist. Just ask Varric. <laughs> I'll see you later. Farewell. All right, just Josephine. Actually, Liliana, then Josephine. More wagers, yeah, yeah. Divine Victoria. <laughs> Please don't. It would be nice to just be Liliana again for a few days. As you command, most holy. <sighs> Tell me about your nugs. Did you get any new ones? Oh yes, a litter was born just a month ago. We are weaning them right now. If you are hoping for one, I'm afraid they're already spoken for. Do you miss being our spy master? I think I miss the people more than the work. Josie, Cullen, I didn't notice how much I liked having them near until they weren't. We're right, of course, but it's not the same. Have your agents any news I should hear about? Are you hoping for word on Solus? I'm sorry, Inquisitor. I'm afraid I have nothing, just rumors of sightings that cannot be verified. He's familiar with my methods and seems always one step ahead of me. It is tiring. Perhaps later, Liliana. I'll be right here if you need anything. Funny how everyone is suddenly bringing up Solus again. It's true. Oh, yes. Oh, Lady Montillier, you the council on our own. Tell me, these strange spaces past the Alluvians, are they safe to explore? We're taking every precaution we can, Josephine. I will take your word for it. And yet, you've accomplished so much in the calm of these past years. I wish you did not have to imperil yourself for us. Again. She wouldn't have it any other way. I don't like to worry you, but thank you, Josephine. You're most welcome. 
Tell me if there's anything I can do to help. I will do what I can here. Once the Canary are dealt with, brace yourself. The Council is just as relentless. And lastly, let's visit this secret little spot before we head back in. Bram's still going, huh? She's not done yet. 